All right, here we go. We're going to do the BMI calculator, and I am going to uh, just try this. This is not during class, and, uh, and I'm just going to try to create a Windows form application. And we're going to use buttons, inputs, and we're going to process it all. And I'm going to try to do this, see how fast I can do this. So um, you can pause at any time. Project directory already exists, blah, blah, blah. All right, um, I'm going to put BMI calculator version 2. My previous one got messed up when someone else got into my network folder and uh, made some changes to it. So I'm creating a new project, BMI calculator. It's a Windows form project. Um, of course, when you get it open, you want to get a workspace up and ready. And uh, I'd start by designing the window. And I'm going to put in all of my widgets and design the whole thing, and then we'll code it all. So what we want to do is each widget or each object, um, what we want to do is we want to be able to create it on our form. And um, there's a couple guidelines that we need to do. Number one is, um, let's pull this out. Okay, I want my toolbox available, so I'm going to line this up over here. So I'm going to have my toolbox over here, and um, my properties here. Solution Explorer, I can just, I'll just move it over for now, as far as it goes. There we go. We want to see our, our window here, and you can resize it. Everything needs a name. Don't let Microsoft name it for you. Um, the names up here, these follow standard variable name um, formats. We can't put spaces in these. If we try and we put like uh, BMI form, we hit enter, it's going to say it's not valid. And we can get details on there <laughs> that it's not valid. Thank you for clarifying that for us. Okay, but the point is BMI form. Um, the idea is we start with what is the object, or in, in this case these are all controls we call them. So the form is a form, so we could spell out form or FRM. Um, it's kind of nice to have like a naming convention that you're consistent on. Notice, even though I named the name here, it doesn't show it up there. So we need to name it down here, where it says Form 1. Here, we can put BMI calculator with spaces. It could, whatever, and it displays it on the window. Okay, so everything we're about to do is we're going to make sure we name it, and we're usually going to adjust the text, and sometimes we'll adjust the font. Okay, so let's start with labels. Let's add a few labels in here. And uh, label is just text. cool thing about label is that you can actually, um, you can actually program it. So uh, pretty much everything is programmable. Okay, so this is the welcome label. So it's welcome, capital W. We start with the capital LBL. And then now on the text, what we're going to do is we're going to click this little drop down, and now we can write out the full thing. Okay, so we start with the little welcome label. Now notice when I clicked on the text for this form, it had the full, all that text right there. Um, if I hit enter on a line and then I click off of it, it puts that hard line return in there. Of course, we didn't want to do that, but I just wanted to point that out. So it's important for you to understand that where you, I mean, you have to format this and do all your line returns. It'll automatically size that. Uh, let's do some font modification because that can be kind of boring. So first of all, let's go up to the form on here, BMI form, and let's make this bold. Let's make it stand out a little bit more. And Microsoft Sans Serif, I mean, that's like the most generic font that Microsoft has. So um, try one of these other fonts here. And apparently, I guess I was changing that. Not. Oh, that's an interesting thing. Okay, I just realized this. The form, now all the text is going to use that. Um, I am not going to make it all bold, though. That's one thing I'm going to change. I'm going to take, turn it to regular. There we go. 
And then later on on other labels, I can do that um, as uh, forms. Okay, so notice how the blue lines up. Okay, this is going to be the weight label. Okay, so the weight label and the text is going to be, oops, weight. Okay, weight in pounds. Right, and let's make that bold. Under font, bold, will be set to true. Bam. And let's just copy that, control C, and control V to paste. Line this up, and this will be height. So let's change that. Okay, so you can put your height on here, and then we're going to label the next few. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the input boxes here that will help us line everything up. And that is a text box, I believe. Yep. Take text box, line it up here, and this will be the. Uh, the other one said weight, so we'll put pounds. Uh, B O X. Actually, we could call it. We could just call it weight box. Let's do that because it's a different form. It's a box, and we are going to leave the text blank. We don't want to put text in there. That's what the user is going to do. You could put text in there, but then the user is just going to have to go in and, and change that. So we take another box, and let's try to line this up. Actually, this will be a little different. We're going to put, um, we're going to have one for feet, one for inches. Put feet, box, and just copy that and paste it over. And this will be the inches box. Notice they all have a name. And then we'll put little feet here and little inches there. And uh, I think that'll be good. Notice I'm lining them all up. So we need more labels again. Label. Come on, label. Label's down here. Scroll down. There it is. Label. Notice, of course, this kind of blocks some of our windows here. Let me just move that over a little bit. It's going to be single digits on the weight. Inches could be double digits. Okay. And so this will be feet label, LBL. And then we're going to put feet on here, or just like so. Bam. All right. Line it up. Feet. Isn't that easy? Control C, copy, paste. And we're looking for the blue line in our lining up. And it doesn't like to do that. Okay, fine. Inches, LBL. Bam. Okay, feet, inches. We'll go ahead and line that up a little bit better. That's pretty good. Okay, so this, these are our inputs, and we need an output button. Uh, it'll be button. There we go, up top. Uh, by the way, can you see how, in you know, the way all this stuff is lining up? Uh, one of the things is let's put a picture box. And we'll look for a picture and add that a little bit later, but for now, let's go ahead and add it in. And let's just see. Put a little icon there. Just spice it up a little. And we'll put this button here. Maybe we'll arrange all these over more. And I'm going to move that up actually. And our, we're going to display the results down there. Okay, button. We'll call this the calculate button. BTN, shorthand for button. And then on the text, I'm going to add that to uh, get BMI. And let's go ahead and add another one to clear the screen, to clear the forms. Uh, 
and I don't know what standard convention. Get BMI, we'll call this the clear button. Clear for. Hello again. You know why I'm here. Okay, so we got our picture box, and of course we could put that the uh, logo box. Clear form, clear button, clear forms. We got that, and there we go. And the last thing we'll do is we'll just have a little. We're gonna wait. We're gonna code this part first, and I'll show you the message box, and then I'll show you how to just display the results right on the screen. Okay, so our form is all ready to go.